meron na kong i-qualify what I have said that we are not representing the PPH because Philippine Publishing House is the official printer and but the distributor is the union and the local mission. That's why uh, it's not ideal to say I am representing PPH. They are our official printer and the conference and the union are the distributors through the departments. So it is good to to mention, especially for you, that you are a student. Because the word student is taxing. When you mention a student, oh, community service, oh, so you will have the access to come to a website. Because people use what is sympathize with young people. Okay, that's good. You can even read your ID, school ID, when you work. In the U.S. and in, in, in Myanmar, in Bangladesh, they use the ID. I was working with my wife, with a student here in Guam. We are using even school uniforms. And then we did school ID. And it's appealing to people, oh, it's really a real student. So people will be like that. Okay? So you can use your school ID and couple with the ID, student ID, from the conference. If the conference can. Oh, regularly, yes. Home Health Education Service, or fa Family and Character Building Program. Under, if, if the prospect will ask some more, then explain. We are, our headquarters is in Central Sun Conference. If they will ask for more. But I know they will not go further. If you introduce Home Health Education Service, or Family and Character Development Program, then inside, you can explain some more. That's only usually at the door to avoid the uh, objection at the door. Because objections can be at the door during presentation, during closing of the sale. So we don't want to create objection even at the door. So we must be neutral. Neutral. And then that's only part of the salesmanship. We are coming back before you go out uh, by, by, by April. These people from union, our publishing leaders, are expert in Christian salesmanship. So they will give you more. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ribones, for the enlightenment. Yeah. I am encouraged this afternoon, or I was encouraged when I saw you wearing your yellow polo shirts. Your color is radiating and you are glowing. Do you love your t-shirt? You love it? Yes. Okay. This is a collaborated uh, uh, contributions from SSD, of course, our father in the division, our sponsors, and uh, of course the union. We encourage you to wear it open time until it wears out. Anyway, there will be another for next year. Would you like it? And while wearing this t-shirt or this polo shirt, it will remind you that you have a part for the first ever Student Literature Evangelist Convention of the AUB or the North Philippine Union Conference. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Robin is there, yes. This program could see last year still in the leadership of Sister Robin Colombo. Please, Sister Rodeline. Yeah. She was our president of the organization last year. And uh, she had been planning on this, only it was not materialized. So, there is God's appointed time. So, this, will, this is the first, and we encourage you to do it open every year 
So, where is the officers? Lutania? Yeah, Lutania and the officers? We congratulate you for making this happen. And of course, we the advice and support coming from our father in the division, Mr. Bermudez. And uh, of course, we have Mom Bermudez there. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, he will be still with us. Pastor Bermudez will be still with us for our commitment uh, program tomorrow. Only that I, we, uh, we will not be around tomorrow because the start of our year end council in the union will be tomorrow at 9 o'clock. So at this point of time, we would like to appreciate the services of our policy director of the division. We will have to him a token of appreciation of his service. Pastor? Because he heard that uh, the three R's in publishing responsibility, recognition, and reward. That's why he is very good on this. Thank you all <laughs> very much, Sir Palaya. Uh, I hope this is the last one. No more tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. We will also want to present this certificate of appreciation to Pastor Vivencia Bermudez for being the guest and main speaker for this first AUP student LE's convention given the, given this 29th of November 2014 at AUP Silang Message of Dr. Gayuba. About 
the real peace and visioning to see a spirit clear is student literature evangelist. That's a great challenge coming from the president of the university. You know, we have conversed together with the, the president during one time when I visited AUP and he said, Brother Mark, there are 800 working students at AUP. And he uh, told me that if we can only ask and convince even a half of those 800 to join in the literature ministry, it will be a great help to the UK or to the university. May see the hands who are working um, at the UP? Working is too bad. Oh, you see? Nice. So you are paid by hours? By hour? Yeah. I told to the doctor, you know why, but Dr. Gayuba uh, uh, presented it that to me. He said, I invade students who are canvassing because they were good baron. See? May I see our burning student again? Those receiving, those who receive those, those who receive the baron, do they to buy with them? Yeah. Dinami na kita, we would not have to see the 23 barons that we gave. One of the others, rather than, yeah, a while ago this morning. Okay, thank you. So, when he saw those students wearing balloon going out, in and out at the university, he said, this should be the kind of students in the evening. Yeah. You are working per hour. And you are paying probably the highest pay per hour is 30 pesos. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, uh, let's forget about money here because we are not we are not looking after the money. But of course when you work honestly, faithfully, diligently the Lord will also as well as bless you with souls visited and reached out He will also bless you with all your needs because He promised that Since yesterday we have heard the calling yeah. God calls our young people a call to the youth A while ago Pastor Bermudez talked about the power do you still remember the message of Pastor Bermudez? Mm -hmm. Pastor Ingin yesterday talked about the power of the power of the printed page. I have with me the new devotional book for 2015. Who has this book? Sino naman nakakuha ng club na ito? Wala pa, no? I will be asking question later. And I will give to anyone who could answer my question. So, listen very attentively. Uh, this is uh, just the limited uh, copies. So, limited lang yung ating question. But at least I, hindi ko maibibigay lahat. Okay, anyway. Uh, Pastor Gingin talk about the power of the printed page. And this is why and the purpose of God calling for our youth at this time. I like your uh, theme song. Let us ponder upon it in a little bit. Kasi na yan. Where's the copy of uh, the bookman, bookman?
Okay, let's handle the second time. The first line says to proclaim the other story. There's a missionary man composed of earnest bookmen. Why buy it that time? How about? We are only up to five o'clock, right? But the, the, the clock is only imaginary. I don't know if it's still only one. Still four o'clock. Still young. Do you have any appointment, sister? Waiting for you at five o'clock? Yeah, anyone here waiting? For, for him or for, for her, for a date at 5 o'clock. Because our program states that we need to end at 5 o'clock. Yeah. This is just for this time. And no more for next time. So we will stay here until, until 7 o'clock. It's okay? It's okay? Because you have your question anyway. But if you are not going to raise question, well, probably you can stay here only up to 5 o'clock. So, composed of earnest bookmen who go marching to the land in search for what? In search of souls now perishing. This is the purpose why God calls you, our young people, because there are souls perishing now. You know why the reason why the souls are perishing? Why the souls are perishing now? The line says that they may take their stand in the army of the Lord. So, I don't know the understand. Of it in the second line. Okay, so don't know what line. Third line. Oh, yeah. They are for that. You know why perishing souls today? Or perishing souls today? It is because what? They forgot to pray and read. The Bible. That's why God is calling us to reach these people, to remind them, and to bring them back to what they have forgotten. Reading and praying for God. See? In the line of Mrs. White in her book, she says, the power of the printed page. The, the printed page is power. She says, the printed page is power. He has the power because it has a message. A message for the salvation of souls. But this is why it continues in her writings. She says, but if its product falls dead for the one of men who will execute to distribute this he said its power is lost so even though the books are has powerful message if it will not get into the hands of the people the power is dead that's why what god calls for our young people today. My part this afternoon is of course the NPUC time. So NPUC time is until 6 o'clock. Then your questions will be another 1 o'clock so we will stay until 7 o'clock. Anyway, food will be prepared. Not tonight. <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Why not? Why not? And then I have two bananas here. Yeah. I'm serving in Korea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I have two. Can I have two? Okay, I'm going to go to the bar. 
Are all those 46 present? Oh, this is our convention. We should be here. So we have, for the first time in the list of our organization, 46 of them, 46. And we are looking forward for this 46 after this convention. Dadagdagan lang natin ng kahit isang dagdag lang. You will only just add one figure. May hirap na maraming figure na dadagdag ninyo. You will only add one figure. 146. We are envisioning to see 146 student literature evangelists working actively in the in this university because we are all here since last Friday if we are all converted receiving all those messages we are looking forward for your great participation and involvement at the publishing ministry yesterday before I came we have our council meeting we ended up our council meeting at 12.48 yesterday. That's why after our council meeting, immediately proceeded to EUP for on time for the opening of our session. And so, the first question of our president, our administrators, when we discussed Sale, he said, how many groups are you expecting from EUP? participating in the summer program. I told him we have six last year and he said how many how many groups are you envisioning for next year? I said if we could add another four that will be ten. The administrator said if you could double it that will be better. So it's a great challenge for our officers. So okay. Okay na. Hindi pa. Hindi. Gutom na talaga. Yeah, as much as possible if you are talking, we would like also to listen. Yeah, that is my my perception that ever uh, anyone of you talking together probably you are talking something that is very important that we would like also to hear, hear them yeah. okay so we are envisioning to have 146 literature evangelists in the university with the sixth group of last year we will if we can tolerate it because we are all now a witness for all of our students in the AUP. Mm. Your name again? Your name? Arian. Arian. Is your name in the list? Arian? Wala pa? Uh, I'll be watching you. I'll be looking on the list. Your name. Anyway, I have all your the record of our attendance. Uh, since yesterday and we will be praying for you we will be praying for you so that this will not be only the first and the last meeting that we will have but it is just the beginning until Jesus Christ will come even though when you will graduate continue your work in the publishing ministry because you have a Bakit na wala yung mga glowing colors doon? They have dates? Ah, may program mo sila? Ah, working? Ah, may ako pala dapat tapusin na natin ng 5 o'clock? Oh, yeah. 
So, okay na tayo? Wala na kayong tanong? Wala na kayong question? Okay, we will end it now? Okay na? Okay. I will make it brief. We are expecting something from you. Your participation and involvement in the publishing ministry. If we have 46 and we have 6 groups last year or this year, we need to increase that by next year, by God's grace. Because we will be watching you, we will be praying for you. The Lord, I will what, petition the Lord that those who wore this, this year will be always reminded of the challenge and the publishing ministry. Of course, when you submit your application, we will assign you to a different area. We have six areas in our missions or our conferences. Conferences of South Central Luzon and Central Luzon Conference. We have also in Northern Luzon Mission. We have in Mountain Provinces Mission in Bali City. We have in Southern Luzon and Bicol. And we have in Palawan. But anyway, we are not re recommending you to go to Palawan. Neither in Southern Luzon Mission. You go on to the four areas, which is namely Northern Luzon Mission. Mountain Provinces Mission, which is the best place for you, our students, you go to Mountain Provinces Mission. Baguio City. Yeah. Who would like to go to Baguio City? Oh, you see. Plenty of you. I like that. I will report this to Pastor Payoyo, and he will prepare a place for you. Because when I Baguio, I'm not allowed to go to Baguio. How much? Okay. I am still in the first part. What we expect from you. Later on, what you expect from us. Okay, so we expect you to join in the number one. Neither or either summer or on regular basis. Did you know that I'm a graduate of? Uh, I graduated because I I can pass. Hmm? I joined the publishing world in 1981. I started my college in 1982. I'm a working student. I graduated in 1996. I can pass. I study, I study, I can pass, I can pass, I study, I study, I can pass. <laughs> and I'm not finished yet. I'm already my wife. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, for certificate. <laughs> and I'm telling you, our young people, in it has or God made it for me. He will also do it for you. That's why I am challenging all our young people, our students. Money is not the hindrance for our what? education. Because God is great. He can provide us our need. When He calls, He will provide. And if you do not know what to do, that is the best thing to go to the Lord. Because if you know something, you will boast for yourself. But if you humble yourself, the Lord will uplift you. When I started this work, I would like to tell you, I'm only 4'7 when I graduated in high school. Because we are born poor. My parents not afford to bring us to college. That's why I am forced to work in the field. And because I am working in the field, my color is hmm, it is not brown. Parang <laughs> torta. That's why Parang hindi ako tao. No, I don't know what I'm saying. But when I joined this world, everything was changed.
things. And so I said, I started this work in 1981. I earn, I'm earning money. I am, because I am an Ilocano. You know what is a Who is Ilocanos? Huh? Alam niyo mga Ilocanos? Yeah, alam niyo mga Ilocano. Indian, Kuripo, Merle. Yeah, that is what you know. Ilocanos are Kuripo. No. Masino lang kami maggastos ng pera. Yeah. Every penny I earn, I put it in the bank. And so, 1982, I already 2,000 in the bank. And 1982, 4,000. And 1982, 4,000 in the bank is already a little big money. I am, or I was convinced, because I said, I'm earning no money, and I'm doing missionary work. And what is the need of studying? Anyway, when you graduate, and you will work, you will earn money, and at the same time, you will also what? You want to deny sin. See? And so I said, continue conversing. But I was challenged by my sweetheart. That became my, also my wife. She graduated ahead of me. Because I'm a working student. She said, you can take units and study at night. So I took 18 units for my first semester. See? That is how I learned of what I am now because of the conversation. And so we are encouraging you, we are expecting from you to spend enough time. I, still, I don't know if I still still in that. You know that God has promised a blessing for those who are canvassing. God said, those who will go forth to the world under God's direction. Pastor Gene e. yesterday said the publishing ministry was ordained by God and even in his, in his direction. And if we are working in God's direction, of course in the ministry, He said, we will be what? Wonderfully blessed. It is a promise. It is a promise by God that if we join in the canvassing work, because this is a work intended for us, reaching for the people, He said, you will be blessed. You will be blessed in two things. He said, it is the Lord's work. This is the Lord's work. This is not my work. This is not the work of the North Philippinian Conference. This is not the work of the Philippine Publishing House. Nor the work of Brother Louis Bolivio. This is God's work. And if it is God's work and God is the foundation of this work, our founder must be rich and it will not get bankrupt. Di ba ninyo alam na marami ng mga companies na nagbabankrupt? Nagkuklos na sila. They are, uh, hmm, anong ginagawa nila ngayon? Uh, Rinilayout na nila yung kanilang mga trabaho because they can no longer cope up with the need of the increase of salaries and uh, ano ba? mga inflations, you see? But we would like to encourage you that this work is God's work. It is evident that those who join the canvassing work are already what? Known successful leaders of the church. You know, Pastor Bermudez? He started this work as a literature evangelist. Two years as a credential literature evangelist. Hmm? And then what? He was taken as a leader. 
After my graduation, I graduated in 1986. I started in 1982. Hmm? I had my wife in 1984. I had my first child in 1985. I had my second child in 1986. And I graduated in 1986. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? How the Lord blessed me. How will I survive? I'm a working student. God. The only one who will provide our needs in this ministry. See? You will only want this it is the Lord's work and a blessing. What? A blessing will attend those who engage in it with earnestness and diligence. Next year, if ever we will have another convention, I will elaborate those two things. We don't have any more enough time. Okay, so what we expect from you? Your participation in this ministry. Sign an application. You contact our president, our officers. You tell them your intention to join or enjoy in the campaign work, either on a regular basis or preparing for your summer vacation. Because by next year, there will be four Months of vacation. Papa, mahabang vacation, Maria. Your name again? Maria, mahabang vacation, Maria. And so, after which, we will approve your name and we will assign you on different area of North Philippine Union countries of your own choice. Of course, if you want to go to Baguio City, yeah, the best ever. So, and then, we would like you to be committed in this ministry. Because we do not want to have a student that when they join and come uh, in the lists or in the lists of uh, students, working students, and later on, they will just go gallivanting around, wasting their time. We don't want any student joining in this ministry on that situation. Because we believe that when you join this work, you will improve yourself, you will reach more people, your, your, your behaviors, your, your personality will be developed and your spirituality will increase and you will be able to influence to other people but if ever I mean, you join the conversion work and later on you want them only going out dating your sweetheart without doing nothing and later on you will end up to your parents asking for your tuition be at the end of summer that will be a good, not a good picture of a working student your parents later on will tell us better not a real join the campusing work. Ganyan din pala ang campusing work. Wala naman pala makukuha. You will not be a good teacher. You will not be a good influence. That's why I'm encouraging all our students who are working in this ministry. Work earnestly and diligently. Because it is only then that the Lord will bless you. Because this work is not an easy work. Mahirap pa ito, matali. Mahirap. Mahirap, mga kapatid, if you rely only on your what you know, boasting yourself that anyway, I know what to say, I am a real from the Home Health Education Service representing Philippine Publishing House. We are selling books. Yeah. And then your customer says, Oh, you are selling books. We have many books already. We don't need your book. Yeah. And probably your customer says, Oh, don't have money. Oh, pity on you. You don't have money. Okay, anyway. Yeah. I'll go to the other house. Probably money is there. This is not an easy work. 
our lives to this. It takes a commitment for any students participating in this ministry. And if you are committed in this ministry, the Lord will bless you. As He blesses all those who already come or started or experienced this ministry. And so, committed, yes, and you will stay until the end of summer. Marami ang mga pupunta, pumunta lang sila dalawang linggo pagkatapos ay na-miss nila mga sweethearts nila, umuwi na sila. They are not committed. And then, we are expecting you, if you join the canvassing work, to, because you are committed and stay the whole summer program, we are expecting 10 weekly reports from you. Is that hard? Is that hard? 10 weekly reports? How many weeks in the summer? How many weeks? Minimum of? 12 to 18 or 15 weeks. And we are only asking you for 10 weeks. Use the other 2 weeks or 5 weeks dating with your wife or wife. With your sweetheart. Yeah. Your last. Your name again, sister? We have the violet, Marok. Ah, pag meron akong maliit na nakasukot ng maliit na ganito. Sino yun? Yeah. Would you like to come back? Good. Kapatid, ah? Daniel yan, sir. Ay, kapatid ni Daniel. Kaya parang magandang dalaga eh. So, that makes. And then, we are requiring you to work even just minimum of 350 hours. Mahirap ba yun? 350 hours? How many hours per day? Working hour. Okay. And how many days is 350 hours? Huh? You can do that in just 10 weeks. 36 minimum per week and we are only requiring you 350 hours is that fair? Yes. it's very fair and then because you are working we are expecting you also to produce a sales equivalent only of 10,000 no more no less that are Theology students that they believe the canvassing work is just a requirement for them. Anyway, it's just a requirement for us to graduate. So that when we come to the canvassing work, anyway, requirements man lang yan. So wala nang report o wala nang, wala nang sales. We have our guidelines in the division that in order for any students to be given a credit or certificate in the canvassing work, they must finish 10 weekly reports, 350 hours, no more, no less, 10,000 cents. I will explain you by time. Okay. Okay, so that is what we expect from you. Join the canvassing work because you have, uh, uh, you have seen the importance of the canvassing work. You have seen how the Lord blessed those who joined the canvassing work. You have seen how they, they, were, they were developed and how the Lord used them. Submit an application. We will approve you. They will assign you to different areas of your choice. And then, because you are committed and stay until the end of summer. You submitted 10 weekly reports, 350 hours, 10,000 minimum sales. What will you expect from us? Would you like to know? Yes. Okay. But this is a good thing. We are expecting from you and we are also not expecting from us. The first thing when we accept your application is we will bring your application to 
the executive committee, all to the committee of our missions in Calvary says, they will approve your application after all the verifications and evaluations of your application. Because it needs a um, uh, signature uh, endorsement coming from the university. And once we have that, uh, the committee will process it, approve it, and then we will assign you to an area. That's why the challenge for our our uh, officers, the survey, is to look for leaders and students who will be fielded or dispatched to different areas of our mission. That is the challenge. Last 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 year, it's not your time, Sister Lovely, but I am discussed or I was discussed at one of our president here one time. I will tell you the name. Because we expect from him, being the president, he need to prepare his students to be uh, dispatched to different missions in countries because we are paying him. He's a scholar. Paid by the division, shared by the union, shared by the mission. And so because of that, we are expecting something from him because we are paying him. But lo and behold, summer comes. No students brought to our missions. And so what I did, I went to UP. I, and I did all my effort to look for students. And finally, I have 18 students from UP. And we are happy that we have 18 students at EUP and those who went to the Mountain Provinces Mission all came back with a big smile and a full of what? Blessing. Because Baguio is the best place for you to come past. Is the door? Because we, you are there, hmm, and you are not working, we are not. Before you go out and work, we are designing, you know, the, the seven initiatives that we have seen in the video. One of the seven initiatives is for your professional training. We do not want you that when you go out, you will not, you don't know what to say. Kinakailangan meron yung magnaknak and then step backward and say a big smile and say what? Well, your name is Brian, representing Hong Kong Education Service. Yeah. We will have a training for three days. All free. That is what you expect from us. Training for three days. We will pay your food and never take more training. Sa akin mga katagpo ng trabaho ganyan, na bago kayo matispat sa trabaho, ay magpitraining kayo, papakainin kayo, patutulogin pa kayo sa hindi naman ang sarap na tulogan. <laughs> Abay kung sa bagyo kayo matutulog, ay talagang masarap matulog sa bagyo. Wala na kayong problema. Hindi namin inuok pag yan ko doon. <laughs> at so, you expect from us the three days. That's why I'm asking all our student leaders. By next year, there will be a training for our student leaders. Merlin have gone through the training, right? And uh, where's the Ah, wala ka training? Mahirap yung nag-little kayo na walang training. Michael, where's Michael? Wala si Michael? Training. Training na yan. Okay. So we would like to, we, we, will, we will train you first. So that when you go out, we would like to hear first from you so that we can correct your presentation before others will hear them. That is how we would like, that is how Delegate is canvassing for you. Yung sasabihin mo, kinakailangan masasala yan, baka mali. Yan. At mahirap na ang sasabihin mo sa customer mo, Ma'am, sorry, can I have a type 2? <laughs> mahirap yun. Training for three days, free for your food. And then, 
after which that you will remain committed to the God for 10 weeks, 350 hours, 10,000 cents. We will give you a scholarship certificate. What is it? Scholarship. A scholarship certificate. Sino makatanggap sa inyo ang scholarship certificate niya? We will issue you the scholarship certificate indicating there your time, your hours, your sense performance. And that certificate, when you go to the school, they will honor that because that certificate is already a money. Kaya na na yan. Usually, pinagawa na kanya na may check na kaagad. Pero, sa medyo hirap ng pagkakapun ngayon, we cannot immediately issue you the certificate or the check bonus for your scholarship. That's why, the certificate first and then later on, your check will follow address it to your school where you're going to study. Who receives the check at the end of summer? Yes. Okay, good. Others, you did not receive your check? Cast. Cast. Yeah. And so you expect from us 10% of your sales. 10% of your sales. So if you have 100,000 say for that summer alone you are expecting for a 10,000 bonus scholarship certificate plus if you give deposit or give it deposit who is saving their money on summer in the office hindi nyo naramdaman ang magbigay ng deposit ninyo. Oh. You see? Pag-deposit kayo. Because in our office, you're raising your hand, Sir Lalawi. Okay. Bakit? The students are giving the additional 10% for the deposit. Oh, may lang. May lang yan. They started doing that. Will this be given 10% also for the students? Because the regular edit will not be receiving this. But will this be given 10% for the students? Yes! We will give you percentage of your savings. That's why instead of paying to you the years, your tuition fee, Instead of paying to EUP your tuition fee upon registration or upon enrollment, you pay it to the office and the office, if you're not going to withdraw that and you go back to the school, the school will pay you 10% of whatever certificate is indicated. You understand? Sayang pa yan. Saan kayo pupunta ng bangko? Nakabibigay mo pera, magbibigay ka lang ng 10%. Only in the Philippine public sinas. Only in the public sinas. Believe me. Before going to school, you ask to your parents, Tatay, nanay, my tuition fee. Ha? Pero sana walang student na mag-iingi niyan, lalo kung nag-canvas kayo. Dahil pagka kayo ay nag-canvas, at yan, sama, pupunta ka sa akin asaan yung pantwisyon hindi ko parang may pinatago ka sa akin sabihin niyo sa niya nga yung tatay ninyo, pag tapos na ng summer period sasabihin niyo sa nanay yung tatay niyo tay, nay, huwag na kayong mag-alala, ang twisyon hindi ko ay ayak ko na di ba na pagkanday na niyan? kahit mag-sweetheart ka ng tatlo pagkanday na kasi So what I'm telling you, what you expect from us, what you expect from us, any certificate or any amount indicated in your certificate, and when it reaches the school, the school will pay you another 10%. That is the obligation of the school, recognizing your effort working on summer. 
orang baik kalau ya kalau karena majinarilah 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 oke aso i encourage you because you were diligently you have committed yourself you are also due of what is in the policy So that is how we help our students. That is how we help our students. That's why we are assured that at the end of summer, we are assured that you have 10% deposit of your sales because every remittance that you will make to the office, the 10% is automatically deducted. That's why at the end of summer, if your sales is 100,000, automatic your savings is 10,000 plus your another savings on your pocket, you give it all to the office, it will earn 10%. Would it be just this good? Any question? May mga tanong tayo? Apo, wala na kayo tanong. Hindi okay na tayo. Pwede na tayo makawin. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ginagawa yan, mayroon sa training ninyo, we are all explaining this during your trainings. Hindi ba kayo nagatid ng training ninyo? I would like to attend your training later on, when someone comes. But anyway, no need because you have already heard it with him. Ginagawa yan palagi. Kaya nga parang hindi nyo napapansin. Ayan. Ano yan? Oh, requirements para maka-apply kayo. Napakadali. Ha? You get endorsement from the EUP administrators. Merong form yan. Kaya yung application form ninyo, merong signature yan ng team. Team ba nang sisignature yan? Sino nang sisignature yan? Ha? Sino nang sisignature sa application? Basta ng student natin? Is the deal? Ah, ito is my good defense. Yan sa mga below 15 years old. Ha? Pero wala namang below 15 years old dito sa college. So, the signature of your what? Deal. Guardian. And then, you submit that to the Camporex. Opo yung sino yung leader mo? Then the leader will submit it to the missions or to the conference, and then that conference will approve your name. And then usually, kami di kayo mula approve na yun. Ah, ano yung yari dito mga kapitina niyo? Napakahirap pag-apply ng trabaho sa mga ibang kumpanya. It's so hard to apply at different companies. You do not know if your application is approved or not. But here in the Commerce Ministry. As long as you don't have any record of disciplinary or censorship in the chips, once you have handed your application, approved na yan. Ibang ganda, no? Yes, sir. I don't think I have an incident that a set of 10% of PPH is given to every set of the PPH in UP. Yes, that is what I'm telling you. Any certificate or any video that is that is attached or it is in the in the certificate, yan ay babayaran ng EUP na ten percent. Kaya kung yung tuition fee niyo instead na ibayad niyo sa kanila, you give it to the office. Hindi niyo kailangan ng ten percent o bayaran niya na. Oh, yun ang maganda. Saan kayo mga pupunta niya? No. No word. In the word. Only. In the HSCS. Deadline. Ang deadline natin ay one month before summer starts. O para at least alam na namin kung sino yung i-assign namin. That's why on February 21, we have a very special day for a sunny day on February 21. On that day, we will now determine who will go to EUPAC. 
We will go to Monte Province, we will go to South Central Luzon, we will go to Northern Luzon because we have all now encouraged to participate in the canvassing work. We have seen the importance of this work and now we are waiting and looking for you in the field. Yes, of course, yeah, I don't have time to discuss the, the handbook. Bisa na yung handbook natin. Kaya dapat kahabog pa ako eh, para marami tayong matapos. This is the handbook. Yeah. Itong handbook natin dito, i-identify ang ating mga responsibilidad, obligasyon ng bawat istigyante natin, obligasyon ng bawat patients in conferences, and even one. Yes, baby school. Uh, uh, I will be leaving copies some full time in the video say yeah and so I will uh, uh, give copies to this guest yung sampo na yan ay um, bigyan na yung mga important din taong mabibigyan natin uh, we don't have any luxury of time producing that yesterday because basically it was aming mga ginawa but later on we will produce we will produce a copy of this Uh, and then we will give that probably on the February 21 during our Saturday. Yeah. And to discuss the, what is inside, I later on will see you sa ating titipon sa mga susunod natin ng mga panahon. Okay, so on the deadline, sana ay one month before the start of the summer program, alam na namin kung sino yung pupunta doon so that we can prepare the place You cannot expect any missions in conferences na nakahanda na tatanggap sa inyo kung di kayo nagdigay ng advance one intention ninyo na pupunta doon. Dahil pag sa Baguio pa kayo pupunta, mga kapatid, ang reservation sa Baguio is one year ahead. 